Don't expect any bombshells out of the, n the newly released government documents on the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Two Montana authors who have spent years researching the killing of the nation's 35th president say that's because the bombshell people have been waiting for is already exposed in their book, Phantom Shot. When we first met Mike Majerus and Jack Nesson four years ago, the two lifelong friends had just published Phantom Shot. Their book concludes that not only was Lee Harvey Oswald the sole assassin of President Kennedy, but that he fired only two shots. And once we put this out, there would be other people that have been studying this for 35, 40 years ago. Yeah, that's got to be right. But that hasn't been the case. In fact, with the National Archives now in the process of releasing thousands of JFK documents, the conspiracies flourish. Just one problem. These two authors say none of them hold water. As you sit and you start looking at these conspiracies, and as they start getting stronger and stronger and stronger, then they just dead end. So why is a third shot so important? Because all the conspiracy theories surrounding JFK's murder revolve around a third shot. The more we look into this, the more questions people ask us, the more research we do on it, the more we keep coming back to there's one thing that answers everything. It's that there are only two shots. It's like equal MC squared. It, it, it's such a simple thing, but yet it answers everything. Majerus and Nesson's phantom shot theory is based on the fact that one of the three empty shell casings found in Oswald's sixth floor sniper's nest was dented. Dented in such a way that it simply could not have held a bullet that day. The first guy that picked that shell casing up, he looked at that and there was a dent in the rim. And his first thought was, this couldn't possibly have been used today. There's no way a bullet would have fit in this shell casing because that dent is too big. They believe the denting was caused by Oswald dry firing the weapon, a common practice to keep the firing pin from breaking. Clear evidence that Majerus and Nesson want to see for themselves. Jack and I want to see that shell casing, the actual shell casing. There's a lot of things we want to see on it. We talk about this in the book, but we've made a request to the National Archives to allow us to see that shell casing. There's only been four people ever been granted access to it who weren't in the government. We want to be numbers five and six. As they await word on their request from the archives, rest assured Mike and Jack are combing through the latest batch of JFK documents looking for anything that could rest their case once and for all. The reason we don't think there's any bombshells, we don't think there's a conspiracy, so how could there possibly be evidence in those documents of a conspiracy? Because there wasn't one. A new edition of Phantom Shot has just been released, complete with a new cover and a new chapter on the reporters who were in Daly Plaza during the assassination. Jack and Mike also, by the way, are working on a new book that sheds new light on unsolved murders in Montana.